Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to see an important topic from uh, BSc Nursing Psychology area. So that is the methods of memory or how we can improve the memory. So first we will see what is the memory. So memory is nothing but it is the ability to recall previously learned things. That means uh, previously we may be learning some subject wise or life situations or so many things day by day we are learning. So whenever necessary in another situation, the learned things will be recalled. So that ability of an individual or human being is termed as the memory. So there are various techniques we are using to improve the memory. So that is the methods of uh, memorization or the techniques to improve memory we are saying. Clear? So we'll see what are the various uh, different types of uh, techniques. We'll see one by one. So the first one, it is the recitation method. Okay, the method is called as recitation method or repetition method, we can say. Come to the next one, whole and part method. And the next one is space and unspaced method, learning by doing, cramming method, intentional learning, and certain mnemonic devices or we'll say mnemonic techniques we'll say. So one by one, we'll see now. Come to the first one. The first one is recitation method. In this recitation method, the entire material the, uh, to be remembered, that will be learned from beginning to end. Okay, the learner will learn or read the entire content from beginning to end. And the same thing, the person himself will be recita uh, reciting or repeating himself. That is the recitation method. And commonly we are using the school children and are using this particular method to learn a poem or learn, a, learn an essay or whatever thing we want to learn, we'll read from beginning to end and we'll repeat that things. Come to the second one, whole method and part method. The whole method, it is nothing but uh, from the beginning to end, the person will read and again and twice or uh, thrice, he will repeat the same things and able to uh, remember that one. That is the whole method. And the part method. So part method is nothing but the entire content. We, it is some for uh, small children, it is very difficult to uh, remember the entire content. So what they will do, they will divide into different parts, say like a poem. So it will be having maybe 16 or uh, 18 lines will be there, 4-4 four, four lines or 5-5 five, five lines, they will uh, uh, divide into parts and each part they will memorize. So that is the part method. Come to the next one, spaced method and unspaced method. So there will give certain space space in the form of uh, like a rest. So the person will read something or memorize something and will give certain rest to that individual. After rest, again, he will continue with the next part. That is the spaced method. And in the unspaced method, without any rest, in one sitting, the person has to remember entire things to be remembered. That is the unspaced method. Come to the next one, learning by doing. So you can see that the uh, children are, will be very active in nature. So in that case, certain activities will provide to uh, learn the things. That is the learning by doing, we can say. Come to the next one, cramming method. So cramming method is nothing but, uh, this is the memorizing the material just before the examination. We can say cramming method and most of the person will be using this cramming method because whenever there is an examination come, just one week, uh, one week before they will sit and memorize, repeatedly they will uh, study that particular material. That is the cramming method. Come to the next one, intentional learning or intentional memorizing. So it is nothing but, it is a intentional, purposefully. Here the person has to uh, have a strong will, okay, I have I, in a sitting or I want to study this material compulsorily, then only I'll go for another work. That uh, will should be there. That's the intentional or purposeful learning we can say. Come to the next one, it is the mnemonic devices. Okay, there, uh, it is nothing but certain technique we are using to assist the memory. That is a mnemonic devices. So we'll see one by one. The first one is a memory peg. Memory peg is nothing but uh, we'll be using certain short forms or abbreviations to remember certain things. That is termed as a memory pegs. Say one best example we know from the school classes we are studying to uh, remember the colors of rainbow, bibgior. Okay, that is the best example for the memory pegs. Next one, uh, memory loss. 
memory loss is nothing but certain places. Loss means certain places or certain image will be remembering. So if you want to uh, remember uh, one example, if you say the classical conditioning theory in psychology, so we'll be uh, in examination it comes, then we'll, st we'll be uh, remembering with certain images, images of a dog, experiment, bell, food, like that. So that we can say memory, uh, me loss, memory of loss or loss we can say. Come to the next one, rhyming method. Rhyming is nothing but, you know, that small children, uh, kindergarten children, whatever uh, they want to learn in the form of a song or small poems or in the rhymes they will be studying. So that is the rhyming method. And the next one, chunking or chunks we can say. So that is nothing but the long uh, names, the long numbers. So that will be break up and in the form of, uh, which is related to our uh, life situation, we will be remember like, uh, uh, if it is a long number, like we may relate that things to our phone number or we may relate to our date of birth, like that it is small, small uh, forms or small, small chunks we will be making, that is the chunking method. Next one, make a story. It is nothing but certain unrelated things we want to remember. So what we'll do? So the unrelated things will make us a related story or we will make us a related thing and we'll make us a story. So that is the making a story. Okay. So these are the certain mnemonic devices or mnemonic text techniques to use to assisting the memory. So these are the various uh, methods to improve memory or uh, techniques of uh, um, uh, memorization we can say. So hope you are all understood regarding the methods of memorization. Thank you for watching this video.